big updates on the coronavirus outbreak. As the number of cases in Virginia soars to 51, the Peninsula Health District reports a second person has died. No deaths in North Carolina, but there are 33 cases right now. There are more than 40 deaths nationwide. In the last hour, President Donald Trump urged everyone to avoid gatherings of more than 10 people. Clinical trials are underway for a vaccine the same day that Centera opened drive through testing in Virginia Beach. Uh, that drive through testing for coronavirus is available at several area hospitals. That includes the Williamsburg Regional Medical Center, Edinburgh Diagnostic Center in Chesapeake, and the Princess Anne Hospital in Virginia Beach. Now, Chopper 10 flew over Virginia beach this afternoon. Just look at this. You can see a long line of cars with people waiting to be tested. 10 on your side, Deanna Betaneshi explains who qualifies for this testing. Deanna. Well, hospital officials say this test is not just for everyone. It's for people who have two out of three symptoms, which is either coughing, difficulty breathing, or also a fever, and those who have traveled recently or have been to an affected area. Sintera officials are doing what they can to keep their hospitals from being bogged down and also keeping the staff, patients, and community safe. Today, they opened drive through screening and testing for COVID-19 at three hospitals in our area. Well, today we're in the process of setting up a drive through testing site. Um, we've been working on this now for about the past four or five days. The drive through at Sintera Princess Anne has three lanes and there's a three step process drivers will go through. The first step is a questionnaire uh, just to determine whether the patients have symptoms, if they have cold or flu, uh, flu like symptoms. Uh, if that is positive, then they will be moved to a provider and a provider will appropriately determine medical history, the severity of the symptoms, determine if the patient has a fever, etc. If the testing criteria is met, then they'll be given the COVID-19 test. Those hospital workers doing the testing are taking precautions too. The screening uh, staff will be six feet from the vehicles. Uh, they will be in appropriate protection. I'm told it will take a few days before test results come back. And hospital officials say this is usually an already busy time of year for them because they have people coming in for the flu, but now they also have people coming in worried about COVID-19. I'll have that story all new for you coming up on Wavy News 10 at 6. Reporting live in Virginia Beach, Deanna Betneshi, 10 on your side.